I think I should emphasize you know, that the solution is not one other system, okay? We're talking of a variety of systems at different scales for different purposes and see which ones adapt best to the challenges of today and our cultures so that they can expand and blossom and give the blossoming possibilities for the gift that people have. What I'm talking about are systems that make it possible to resolve our issues without necessarily having to redistribute wealth. Wealthy people can remain wealthy, financially wealthy, but it doesn't have to be at the expense of everybody else. What I'm talking about is giving the possibility for every child to develop his or her gifts and contribute those gifts to our society on a much broader scale than what's available when it's only a competitive commercial game. Examples of all this? Good Lord. There are so many. There are at least 2,500 systems now, social purpose systems that are fully operational. There are uh, hundreds of systems in the commercial domain that are promising. I particularly emphasize things like the C3 in Uruguay and Brazil, which are now expanding in other countries in Latin America that will provide working capital to small businesses. These are all very promising models. I look at the Furia Kipu in Japan, the caring relationship ticket, which provides a solution to provide the support that elderly people or handicapped people need without burdening the governments. If you stay in the box, if you stay in the idea of a single currency, there are only two solutions, for example, with the elderly care. One of them is, let's call it the Anglo-Saxon solution. Have a pie of a certain size, more people need to eat from it, we cut the prices smaller and smaller. And maybe that way people die quicker. Or the other solution, that I'll call the Scandinavian or Germanic one, made a promise, a promise is a promise, let's go bankrupt. Not particularly but realistic either. The real solution is the Japanese one. The Furiakipo system started by Hotasan, Tsutomu Hota, in uh, Japan, which is an elderly care currency that takes care of everything that's not covered by national health care and which doesn't cost anything to the government and creates and encourages intergenerational relationships at the local level of your neighborhood. These are all models that exist today. It can be adapted. Actually, the Furia Kipu system is being adapted by one of my colleagues in Switzerland, uh, in St. Gallen now. So St. Gallen is the first European city to introduce the Furia Kipu as we speak.